And the brakes can come off for Harlequins. Now it goes wide. Edwards picks out David Lewis. Liner with the stretch and the score. You should be a coach, Ashley. <laughs> there we go, look, shift it. Now they chose the right time there. Good strength from Nick David, just to ride the tackle and get the offload to Louis Liner. Nine, good work. Two sides who enjoyed 100% success off the scrum in their last outings. Saracens do get the job done, but it's messy through contact. The ball's loose, it's a foot race. And obviously, Caden Murley is the first one to react, the one to gather, and the one to score it. I used to love tries like that. <laughs> Just opportunistic. Northmore tucks, kicks his toe on it, and Caden reacts as good all winger and finishers should do. Just shepherd the ball all the way to the try line. Great finish from Caden. It's quick from Porter and the stooped getting involved now. The 16th man urging on their side. Five metres out. And now Launchbury. A big carry from Baxter. Legs pumping, squirming through contacts. But there's work still to be done, and the defence from Saracens crumbles. Harlequins have their third inside 13 minutes. It's a romp at the moment. Hold out. Okay, over. Saracens need something here, but the counter drive from Quinns is ferocious. They're going laterally. Now they go forwards. There's the try. And it is our very own Ken lookalike, Toby Knight, with the honours. Two last week against Nottingham and one now at the home of their great rivals. Play away, Orisa. An absolute bullet of a pass from Northmore, but the second one doesn't go to hand. And now Lozowski has got a foot race to the line. It sits up beautifully. We've had nearly two carbon copy tries. Pass behind from Will Evans, the Harlequins 10, and Alex Zoski just pounces on it. I didn't think he was going to have the legs, but still a lot of life in Alex there. And the line out goes awry. Saracens have just lost so much shape, but Harlequins have it in spades. Caden Murley picks up Lewis Liner. He's being hunted down, but he's got so many options to choose from. He picks out Nick Davids. And it might be a new season, but Harlequins are still playing that same old barnstorming rugby. Yep. We haven't said Murley's name in a while. He's gone ominously quiet. As David chases that, it's pounced upon. Ball offloaded. It's Jabula who has it. As though fired from a cannon through the Saracens defensive line. Quick hands now. Oh, that is lovely. And Will Joseph thriving in chaos. The man who rises with the ball and sticks another five on it at the stoop. Great finish from Harlequins. Offloading and just having the presence of mind to shift to the space out wide to get the try. John Brandt <laughs> on Willis. Lovely quick hands from back to there. Slevin to Joseph. Who somehow manages to get the offload away, but Shagan has it now. Slaloming defenders beats half of the Harlequins team. And it's quick ball for Ada Jamie Vernapola. Just nobody home for that one. I'm not sure who that was headed to, but Parton has it now, skipping, bursting through the line. Willis goes again, as he has all afternoon, and somehow that's batted backwards to Vunapola. Lozowski, Hartley, lovely ball inside. Will Lozowski have a second? No, he gifts it to Gareth Simpson, who's over. It's chaos. It's broken field running everywhere. Everyone's out on the feet. All the players are bent over. It's almost yeah, festival good, rugby, isn't it, where there's opportunities for both sides, and I think Saracen's here, clinical. Shagan with a stop and a go, and no-one accelerates quite like Rotimi Shagan. 
He gets it away to Lazowski. It's speculative over the top, it's gathered. And the try will be scored by Tobias Elliott with practically his first touch of the match. And the steep rises to its feet in appreciation for what has been a highly entertaining 80 minutes in North London.